Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. In this video we're going to have a look at some of the common types of clamps that you'll find in the home woodworking shop. This is a G clamp. I assume it's named that way because it vaguely resembles the letter G. It's also called a G clamp because the G stands for good clamp. These come in a wide variety of sizes and I've even got a few that have obviously been handmade as projects. G clamps are really good, but they are a little expensive, particularly if you want to get lots of them. Th these are all store bought. They can be made at home, but generally not up into the very big sizes, and you would need specialised metalworking tools to do this. We're going to be showing some alternatives to G clamps as we go along. This is an F clamp. I feel that the F also stands for forced to use this clamp because I couldn't afford a G clamp. F clamps are very useful in that they're usually much longer than a similar reach of G clamp. You can also move one jaw very quickly to where it needs to be before you tighten it. They can be finicky in grabbing hold of the bar when you're starting to tighten up. There are other kinds made out of mostly plastic kinds that have trigger grips, these are just what I have. This corner clamp is the third kind of shop-bought woodworking clamp that I have. You usually use these for clamping two pieces together at an angle. Normally where you're cutting a mitre joint, so where you're joining together picture frames. In that case, you'd normally have a set of four of these. I only have one. This is an unassembled bolt clamp. This is one of the kinds of clamps that we're going to be making in the course. To assemble it, We normally use this kind of clamp when we're grouping a whole bunch of pieces together in a block. So, for example, if we were gluing these two pairs together, or if we were gluing them together into a bundle of four, we'd then tighten up the nuts until they squeeze together tightly. If it's a long piece of work, then we'd use multiple of these clamps, have one here, another one further along, another one further along. These are very easy to make. This is a homemade hand screw clamp. It works very similar to a G clamp or an F clamp for clamping materials. We'll be making this in one of the upcoming projects. Um, you can also buy these in the shop. The ones that you buy are more flexible because they'll allow you to bring in the jaws at an angle. This particular design, the jaws have to be kept parallel. The big benefit these have are that they cost about $2 in materials and they don't take very long to make. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.